Greetings! Today, the Twin Flame Soul Merge. We're going to talk about it, what it is, how to get it to start happening, what stage are you in, how would I know if that was happening, all the things we're going to talk about in today's video. If you're new here, welcome, welcome everyone. My name is Kurt. I am the world's number one Twin Flame coach. I've personally coached over 7,000 Twin Flame students to date. I've got a whole bunch of Twin Flame students that are married to their Twin Flame, living together in a permanent relationship, my Twin Flame permanently in my life, and I've helped a lot of people do it, my friends. So I have a very unique perspective on this question. I'm kind of the guy that cracked the code on Twin Flames. So welcome to my channel, everybody. Let's do a big truth bomb today. So here's the thing with Twin Flame Soul Merge. Everybody wants to know what that is. How do I get that to happen? How do I know how close I am, right? You're asking kind of all these ancillary questions around it. And what's really going on with something like this, you guys, you wanna know if your Twin Flame and you are gonna be together and how close you are to that. You wanna be with your Twin Flame. That's why you're watching a video like this. That's why you want to know what's up with the Twin Flame Soul Merge, right? Okay, well, what if I told you that there's no such thing as the Twin Flame Soul Merge and you can be with your Twin Flame still? You don't need to do Twin Flame Soul Merge at all to be with your Twin Flame. What if I told you that? Would you care that there's no Twin Flame Soul Merge? No, you would not care because you're getting the thing that you want. You're getting your twin flame still. So this is another one of these twin flame myths. And this one, really easy to understand, my friends. So let's talk about what a twin flame is first. The one thing that everybody says about twin flames on the internet, I mean everybody, bar none, everybody says this, is that twin flames are the same soul, right? So you're getting a lot of different advice from people about what to do about your twin flame, right? Everybody's telling you to do all kinds of different stuff about your twin flame. How do I get them to stop running? Do I need to do some kind of healing? Are there stages I need to go through? There's all this stuff, but everybody agrees about what a twin flame is. Th think about this for a second. We all agree what a twin flame is, but everybody's telling you different methods. That doesn't make any sense. Guys, there is only one way to get you and your twin flame to stop running. You need to transcend the mind of separation, which by the way is what, is what that word really means. We're gonna talk about that in today's video. It's got nothing to do with a relationship status with your twin flame, my friends. So let's talk about what a twin flame is. Yeah, your twin flame is your soul, guys. If, if you get into a time machine, if you knew who you used to be in one of your past lives, and there's people that do, you've heard, you've all heard the stories, reincarnation stories where, you know, some little kid, they, they remember things from one of their past lives, okay? So if you knew who you used to be in a past life and you had a time machine and you went back and you met yourself in your past life, are you guys the same soul? Yeah, you guys are the same soul, right? And that's what this diagram is. So. Time is relative. Some people make the mistake of saying, there's no such thing as time. Well, from up here, that is true. But what's really going on is down here in the 3D, time is a matter of perspective, okay? It's not that there's no such thing, it's that it depends. That's really the best answer. And that's really what Albert Einstein said about time. And that is what conventional science says about it. So when you do the thing that we call die, you leave your body, right? You go back to heaven, the afterlife, which is really the before life, right? It's where you came from. That's this, this is this higher realm. This is this higher plane of existence. 
P-L-A-N-E, plane. It's a higher plane. And again, like I've told you guys a million times, even conventional physics is discovering that higher planes do exist. They don't know how high up yet, but that's kind of what spiritual teachers have been talking about for a long time, isn't it? There's much higher planes than the ones that our very primitive technology has been able to detect. It just keeps going up and up and up, right? All these levels, higher and higher you go. So the so-called afterlife is one of the highest. Well, from that higher perspective, there's no like past and future, right? The way Einstein described it is past and future happen simultaneously, okay? So all of these red dots represent individual incarnations. So reincarnation. Hmm? So we're going to say this is one of your lives that you lived. We're going to just say, okay, you were born in the year 1770. This is the year 1880, another life that you lived. You were born in 1880. This is a future life, which technically could be a past life. We're going to talk about that in a second. And these two, this represents you and your twin flame. That's all this is, guys. It's just reincarnation. There's, there's a very down-to-earth explanation for twin flames here. <laughs> and I've got, I've, I've got even more for you before I forget. There's, there's a whole playlist on my YouTube channel. I strongly encourage you to go check it out. It's called Twin Flame Science. I will put the link down below for you. It's called Twin Flame Science. Go check it out. Twin Flame Science. This is a real thing, guys. We already know about reincarnation and, you know, consciousness is fundamental to the universe. You know what I mean? We already know this stuff. We don't have to make up stuff. Yes, your twin flame is your soul. It is true. You really did meet another incarnation of your soul. I hope you're looking at your screen. Okay, this is a real thing. This is an old book too, by the way. People have been talking about this. There's this, the, the, the amount of evidence for reincarnation is just overwhelming. Every time you hear somebody say, there's no evidence. What, do you live under a rock? There's an overwhelming amount of evidence. I even made a video about it. I'll link it down below for you. Actually, never mind. It's, it's on my Twin Flame Science playlist. Just, just go there. Just, there's a link in the description to my Twin Flame Science playlist. The video I'm talking about is called How the Soul Works. And I start out by busting the myth that there's no evidence for reincarnation. There's a bunch of evidence for reincarnation. Anyway. So when you do the thing that we call die, you go back up here, right? Okay, well, there's no perception of time up here. There's no perception of linear time. So you could reincarnate into the past, guys. Your next life, you could go back in time. You could go forward in time. Okay, so you're able to hop all around. Your twin flame is your soul. You are the same soul. Technically, your twin flame is your past life, and I even made a video about that. Again, uh, it's on the Twin Flame Science playlist, and it explains why your twin flame is running from you, okay? The push-pull dynamic between you and your twin flame, think of it in terms of mechanics. It's just, it's the second law of thermodynamics. You really need to go check out my Twin, twin Flame Science playlist, okay? There, there is a rational explanation for twin flames that applies to everybody, okay? And, and if you're gonna get in the comments and you're gonna go, well, Kurt, I don't think there's a cookie cutter explanation for everybody's twin flame. I'm just gonna block you. We're not going to get anywhere with this if we're gonna be making stuff up about it. This is why I have such a big problem with your average twin flame information on the internet right now. If this is real, then there is an explanation for it. Okay, we have day and night on planet Earth. And there is a reason that we have day and night on planet Earth. Do you get to decide what the reason is? No. It's because the Earth is spinning. Well, Kurt, 
I don't think there's a cookie cutter answer. I think it's because I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear it, guys. There is a way that this works, guys. Just like day and night, right? Just like the stars in the sky. Just like why your twin flame is running. There is a reason for it. And it's not psychological. There's no, like, analyzing their childhood wounds that you need to do. I mean, you can do that if you want, but you don't need to. It's a waste of time. This is, again, this is how I ended up here, guys. The world's number one twin flame coach. I've got more students. Let me let me flash a couple on your screen right now because I usually don't show these guys. Here's John. That's him and his twin flame. They are married. John is my student. Here's Tanaya. Same thing. She's married to her twin flame. Okay. Here's a picture. Uh, she wasn't comfortable showing her face, but this is the very first student I ever helped to get married. So that's her engagement ring. Kelly is her name. And she didn't want to show her face. And then, of course, there's these four lovely ladies. Uh, three of them married. One of them, they're living, she's living with her twin flame. And, and that's not all, guys. I, I can keep going. I can keep showing you testimonials where somebody got married to their twin flame, somebody's with their twin flame, my twin flame and I, we're hanging out, we're doing live streams on my YouTube channel. It's not actually hard to get your twin flame to stop running from you guys. It's really not. You just need to understand this, okay? It's science. This is real. Twin flames is real, but it's not gonna do us any good to be making stuff up about it, okay? That's the problem I have with the environment online when it comes to twin flames. And you don't need to make stuff up. There are rational explanations for this. Totally rational explanations. Go check out my twin flame science playlist. Watch at least the first two videos on that playlist. Now, what's the thing with the twin flame soul merge? There is no soul merge. You are your twin flame. You have this perception that you are separate because you're down here in duality. You're down here in, in, in separation. You're down here in um, density, right? The 3D world. But ultimate reality, ultimate reality up here, this plane up here, this is real reality. And everyone of you watching, you kind of know that. Like this is one of the things that you hear all the time in spiritual teachings, that this 3D world isn't really ultimate reality. It's like a video game, it's, it's an illusion, and that's true. And by the way, I've made videos about that too, explaining that that's kind of the direction that conventional science is going. It's not like spiritual hyperbole anymore. It's absolutely not. Uh, I'll put a link to a video down below for you called Science Proves the Law of Attraction. And it's really, it's not really about the law of attraction specifically it's 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 more than that this video that i made and i'm showing you that there are very well respected conventional scientists that are going to tell you that the universe is mind the universe is the mind of god and these people are serious and they've got the data to back it up they're not talking about this stuff on television guys and they're not teaching it in schools that's a problem but that's the way it is. They want you fighting about the election. They want you fighting about what bathroom to use. They want you fighting about whether you should have brown hair or purple hair. They don't want you talking about this stuff. Hmm? This is the important stuff. And this is ultimate reality. This is real reality up here, guys. Okay, now, up here, there is no separation. There's that word again. Why do I keep using that word? We'll talk about that in a second. We're not out of time yet. So you don't need to merge with your twin flame. You already are your twin flame. The question is, who are you? What is you? What is that? What is that? What is the self? Who, who am I? Okay. The soul is already whole. It's already one. It's already complete. There's no us up here. There's just one soul. There's not, and, and by the way, in case any of you ask, I do address this in my Twin Flame 
science playlist the second video it's called what are twin flames um the soul splitting sometimes you hear people talking about oh twin flames it's where the soul splits yeah no <laughs> no that actually came from a piece of romantic prose that plato wrote called uh symposium and it's got nothing to do with twin flames um i debunk that in that video it's pretty easy to figure out it was just like a like a cute little story that Plato wrote and somebody read that and they were like oh that's what twin flames is yeah based on what like what is your basis for saying that that's what Plato was talking about Plato never talked about twin flames and he definitely didn't talk about it in symposium he was definitely talking about like a perfect soulmate relationship where it's all wonderful and your twin flame is not rejecting you the person is not running away from you the person is not like you know coming back and then running away again and right and, and he didn't say anything about the dark night of the soul he didn't say anything about the you can't fucking eat or sleep or function he didn't say anything about kundalini he didn't say anything about obsessive thinking he didn't say anything about psychic gifts coming online after the dark night of the soul he didn't say anything about you nothing nothing it was just a romantic piece of poetry symposium that's where that came from and it's definitely not based on any kind of like scientific principles at all and it's not even based on any kind of spiritual principles again reincarnation we already know about this stuff guys we already know about this we, we don't need to make stuff up people they see one thing and they see something else and they go oh these things must go together right do you remember that one um skit from sesame street where it was which of these things do not go together dun, 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 dun. remember that and you had to like there was like four squares in a circle and you had to pick out the one thing that doesn't go with the rest okay that's what you're going to get, guys, on the internet. And it's not even just twin flames. It could be anything. You could be having a conversation about finance or politics or automotive repair or relationships, general, like conventional relationships. People make stuff up all the time. It's the internet, guys. It's the internet. It's just a bunch of gaslighting. So there's no twin flame soul merge. The whole problem is your perception that there are two of you. So let's talk about these words separation and union and detaching too by the way i'm going to give you a super high level overview of what those words really mean okay and then i'm gonna direct you to go watch a video there's a link down below where i kind of go more in depth about these words separation union and detaching you should see a thumbnail on your screen right now where it says the ultimate truth right so there's a link down below it's called twin flames separation consciousness unity consciousness that's where the word union comes from unity consciousness and detaching so those words actually come from transcendentalism they don't have anything to do with twin flames at all okay what happened was probably in the mid 20th century like 50 60 years ago somebody figured out twin flames and they, they said, wait, this is just transcendentalism. Oh, my twin flame is my soul. I guess I got to do soul stuff, right? And everybody else, their starting point is the mind. That's why you see all of this like weird psychological advice on the internet. And they call it spiritual, but they're telling you to like, like do all this healing. And I'm not saying that's bad, but that's the mind. That's psychology, healing, right? That's not spiritual. Spiritual is consciousness. It's beyond mind. It's beyond thinking and emotion. And when you go beyond the mind, that's union. That's unity consciousness. That's what the great spiritual masters have always been talk about. And, and none of this stuff is debated. What I'm telling you, this is genuine spiritualism. Nobody debates this stuff, at least not like real spiritual teachers like you know, Buddha and Jesus and Eckhart Tolle and Yogananda and Ram Das, 
all the great spiritual teachers, Eckhart Tolle talks about separation all the time, you guys. And Rupert Spira, he calls the mind the separate self. Because the mind is duality, it perceives itself as separate from everything. That's why when we come down here into density, into the 3D world, they also call it separation. So it's got nothing to do with Twin Flames. Twin Flames just borrowed these terminologies. And I can only assume that in the mid 20th century, they were doing it properly. But then the internet got a hold of these words and started misinterpreting the original meanings. Now nobody remembers why we're using those words. And so when you look online, it's just kind of monkey see, monkey do. Everybody's, oh, I guess separation and union are the words that we're using. Okay. And nobody questions why we're doing that. But what happens is people think that it's like a relationship status with your twin flame. That's not it. The mind is duality, it's separation. The soul is union, unity consciousness, okay? This is kind of where the yin and yang symbol comes from. Duality, separateness, the mind. The mind, again, even Rupert Spira, Eckhart Tolle, Yogananda, they always describe the mind as perceiving itself as separate, okay? And that's why your twin flame runs, by the way. Go watch my videos, guys. There's another playlist that you should be checking out on my YouTube channel called The True Twin Flame Teachings. The True Twin Flame Teachings. Go check out that playlist also. But when you go beyond mind, there's no separation. There's only oneness. That's union. We are one. It's unity. There's no separation. So that you and your twin flame are separate, it's always been an illusion. You see, that's the real problem. So that's the deal, guys. I think you kind of get what I'm saying here. Go watch my other videos. Go watch my separation consciousness video. Go check out those playlists. Do something about this situation, you guys. Thank you for watching. See you later.